And when we think about Lolly and Julie's personalities and their training, that these were very capable outdoors women. And we talked about you were fantastic at just filling in the victimology details about how outdoorsy and adventure bound these two women were. And they were used to going out hiking and on trails and camping and they would most likely be non-compliant. And, you know, you may be compliant initially if a weapon is taken out, but there may be a point where you start to fight back. And that may well mm. have been what's different in this particular case. And so I would expect that to be a case with their psychopathology of just who they were. And also, I don't know too much about him other than the fact that we should probably say that he was a convicted serial rapist. He had been found guilty of kidnapping and of assaults, and he was prolific. So again, offenders, uh, what I found in my career, they're, they're interesting in the sense of when you look at their history and what they've done and across their offending career, people think that if you kill once, then you carry on killing. They think that if you rape, then you rape in every situation. But that's not what I see with offenders. You actually see variation and it often depends on victimology.